welcome to Mastering Concepts. In this channel, we are going to learn about science and maths. So don't forget to subscribe the channel and like and share the video. Today's topic of discussion is nitrogen gas. Before moving on to the important topics, let us first learn about some of the facts about nitrogen. Nitrogen was first discovered by the physicist Daniel Rutherford in the year 1772. Nitrogen gas constitutes 78.09% of the Earth's atmosphere by volume, whereas the oxygen that we breathe in is only 21%. Nitrogen gas is an inert diatomic gas at standard conditions. That means it is made up of two atoms of nitrogen. The two atoms are bonded together by a triple covalent bond. Also remember the molecular mass of nitrogen is 28.08 AMU. Let us now learn about the physical properties of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen gas is a colorless, odorless and tasteless gas which is slightly lighter than air and slightly soluble in water. The density is 1.25 gram per liter. Next, let us learn about the uses of nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is used for the industrial manufacture of ammonia gas, nitric acid and the nitrogenous fertilizers. It is also used for the preparation of explosives and liquid nitrogen is used as a refrigerant. Let's now watch a video to see the effect of liquid nitrogen. Next up, we have the most important portion of this chapter, which is the laboratory preparation of nitrogen gas. The chemicals required for the preparation of nitrogen gas are ammonium chloride, which is NH4Cl, and sodium nitrite, NaNO2. These two compounds should be in a concentrated aqueous solution and in equimolecular quantities. Here, the reactions occur in two steps. In the first step, aqueous solution of ammonium chloride reacts with aqueous solution of sodium nitride to form ammonium nitride and sodium chloride. Here, double displacement reaction occurs. In the second step, thermal decomposition of ammonium nitride occurs where nitrogen gas and water is produced. Let us now see how the nitrogen gas is collected. Since the gas is slightly soluble in water, it is collected by downward displacement of water. Nitrogen gas is dried by passing the gas through concentrated sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Now a question can arise in our minds that why we are heating a solution of ammonium chloride and sodium nitride and not directly heating ammonium nitride. This is because if we heat ammonium nitride directly, it is going to react rapidly and there is a high chance of explosion. Let us now learn about the chemical properties of nitrogen. Why does nitrogen not react easily? You must remember that I had told you that nitrogen gas is inert in nature. That means it is unreactive like helium or krypton or argon. This is because the two atoms of the nitrogen molecule is bonded by a very strong triple covalent bond and the bond dissociation energy is extremely high. Thus it is comparatively unreactive. Let us now find out how nitrogen gas reacts with oxygen. At very high temperature of around 3000 degrees C, which can be produced by electric sparks or during the lightning, nitrogen and oxygen combine with each other to form a colorless toxic gas known as nitric oxide. 
Let us find out how nitrogen and hydrogen react with each other. Nitrogen combines directly with hydrogen under the influence of electric spark to produce ammonia gas. Now this ammonia can also be produced by the Haber's process. For performing Haber's process, we need a very high temperature of 450 to 550 degree C, a very high pressure of 150 to 200 atmosphere and iron catalyst. Also remember, to perform this particular process, nitrogen and hydrogen should be in the ratio 1 is to 3 by volume. Nitrogen gas also combine directly with few metals to form nitrides. When red hot magnesium is heated with nitrogen gas, we get magnesium nitride, Mg3N2. The next reaction is extremely important. Here, nitrogen reacts with a compound known as calcium carbide, which is CaC2. At a high temperature of 1000 degree C, calcium carbide combines with nitrogen gas to produce calcium cyanamide and carbon. This mixture of calcium cyanamide and carbon is known as nitrolim. Nitrolim is a black mixture and is used as a fertilizer. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like the video and press the bell icon.